Hi guys, me Elf, Elfnet Designs, and what you're looking at here is a Motorola GR1225 UHF repeater with the corresponding Citron ZR310 community repeater panel. Um, this is a 40 watt radio. I have it turned down to 2 watts because I'm not using the main driver on this radio. I have a 100 watt Crescent PA amplifier um, down at the tower site that this hooks to. Um, and the reason I pulled it out was so I could put this panel in. Um, I bought this off eBay for about $200 or so. Um, it's going to turn a profit for me because I've already got customers lined up to be put on it. Um, slug back in, but the repeater is narrow band compliant, and you know, there's this ZR310, and that's the FCC license information. Expiration date. It's an FB. What does it say? It FB4 community repeater. It is, in fact, it's on here, right there. 100 watts FB4. 461.375 is my deal. Um, the antenna height is that particular far. It's not that i don't know why it's 107.0 the actual tower is by 482 feet um yeah that's that's it i'm not gonna i have my hand over my mailing address so yeah um uh, yeah that's that's the FCC license. Actually, that's a copy I taped on, and I have my thing there. Service call. You're not getting my phone number. Um, but that's what this is set up on. Um, that, that thing mounts right in. You take the plate out right here. It slides in. Some screws. And at the site, we hook up. I don't know if you can see in there. There's uh, one connector. There's the other. There's the interface cabling up there somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. I think. I can't see. Oh, that's that. That. This wire right there. This one here is the interface and then it goes up to there. Well, this little compact unit. This thing's 40 watts. But like I said, I got it turned down to about 2 watts or so to drive the 100 watt PA on it. And yes, it does work. It's not powered up now. It's fixing to be taken back down there tomorrow evening. Uh, it's Saturday evening now, tomorrow's Sunday. And yeah, that, uh, I don't know what else to say about this thing. Other than, this thing here is a pain in the ass to program, by the way. It used the GR, the GM1225 uh, program to do the frequency, but you leave it in carrier squelch. <coughs> also, you turn off, you know, you set the handset always on, and there's a, a plug that goes in there. Um, and then in here you got to use the GM 300 software and set it in repeater mode and re read the option board and I'll tell you what this thing is a pain in the ass because I fought it for three hours turning things on and off and it would do PL fine but it wouldn't do digital PL <coughs> and and I found out I had to make a master uh, talk group for things like the CWID and the remote programming and stuff to follow through and that is what when I did that and set it as a 
carrier operated system, you know, whatever, in the settings, the CSQ pass through, it allowed me to start decoding digital and doing digital tones. It's weird that way. I don't know why. It can't be a little more straightforward than that, but it is a pain in the ass and it's even worse when you're trying to do it with a keypad on a radio now you can also plug a telephone in here uh, you could go with an rs-232 adapter in here and do it um it does it in varieties of different ways i was starting to think that there was something wrong with this and i was going to send it back and get another one but in the end, I figured it out. I won, and now she's going to be on her way to be put in and used to make me money. Um, yeah, always a thumbs up there for making money. At least thumbs up the video for making money. Um, If you like it, thumb it up. If you agree with making money, if you give a shit about making money, thumbs up. If you have a subbed, sub. A lot of neat shit goes on on this channel, not just radio stuff, but other stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.